Hi, and welcome to Pixie's Projects. Today I'm going to do a video for my friend Helen, who requested to see the mythographic books as uh, flip-throughs. And the more I thought about it, the more I thought I would do a video with um, talking instead of the normal flip-throughs I do where I just play music over them. Um, because I could show all the mythographic books at one time and I can show my finished colored images. So I thought I'd do it this way. Um, excuse all the noise. My cat has a little cat door to my studio and he's coming in and out. Um, so not in any really particular order, but alphabetically by artists since the mythographic series has three different artists right now. Um, this is mythographic color and discover frozen fantasies. This one is Fabiana Atanasio. And we're just going to go ahead and get started. So I'm just, like I said, it's a flip through. Um, Helen has none of these. And maybe there's other of you, others of you who don't have any of these books yet and are interested in them. So this will give you an opportunity to see them all in one place. And it does include uh, the new one as well by um, Joseph Kattenbang that just came out, Wild Winter. And as you can see, there won't be a lot of colored pages to see because I have not gotten that far. And I'm really sorry about the lighting. I'm looking at the, the video and I have my light on. It's not doing a lot of good because the sun is so bright today. Um, but we have this one colored and I'm trying to turn it enough so you can see the glitters. And it's kind of three-dimensional because it's everything sticking up. Um, but this was watercolor paint, stickles, and um, Marco Chroma Magna pencils and Sharpies. All right. And like I said, we're just going to keep looking through the pages to give you an idea of what these books like, like look like. And they all have um, hidden images in them. I did read where Joseph Kattenbang said that he's on for another book and that it would not have hidden images, so I'm very excited about that. Uh, I think a lot of people are because what I've noticed is most people try to hide the the images that are, you know, the secret things. Um, they just really don't fit. Like here's a paintbrush and mouthwash and a Game Boy. They, just look out of place and the pictures are so well drawn that it's sometimes slightly disappointing to have the weirdness in there um but that's just my opinion maybe some of you really enjoy the hidden images and if you do that's really good because they're here um so yeah we're just gonna keep looking and they are rather detailed um so i don't color in them quite enough because of the detailing, um, I tend to have a little bit of trouble picking out what's what in each of the pictures, but the images are gorgeous, so I have been collecting these books and will continue to do so even though I don't color in them as much as I should or could, I guess. There is no should, it's a hobby. And now I'm looking at this and I'm thinking it's winter, I should color these, but who knows, maybe we'll see some at the end of the month with my finished pictures video. And they are nice because the paper is nice and thick. It's double-sided, so you can use your marker, or it's not double-sided, so you can use your markers in it and not worry too much. And then at the end, it just has every page with the hidden objects revealed. So that one was Frozen Fantasies. And then we'll move on to Paradise, which is also Fabiana Atanasio. I just wanna move my set over a little bit. There we go. And again, there may not be much colored in here. There's quite a few that have no colorings in them. Um, because I just haven't gotten to them yet. But I've seen a lot of really nice pages done in this book. And 
there's not a lot that I'm going to talk about with them. But I do think the artwork speaks for itself. I hope everybody's doing well today. I got my um, flu shot and my booster yesterday. So, Well, by the time you see this, it'll be two days. Um, I'm just starting to feel better. I just got a little run down. And uh, my throat was a little bit sore. And my arms hurt, but... We're getting back to normal here. Um, so yeah, I hope everybody's making it through the winter and not getting too sick or anything. Here is the one page I've done in this book, I think. Um, this was all done with markers and white gel pen. And in this one, I chose to leave the hidden images visible. So you can see them here. But sometimes I will try to disguise them or just color over them with the colors that, like here, I would have just added the rest of the hive in and tried to just cover that up if I didn't want to use them. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um, but this is one I really enjoyed. This would be a fun one, too. I will say, out of all the mythographic books, I think the Joseph Kattenbangs are my favorite. Like, I love Fabiana Atanasio, but I like her um, fairy tale books more than I like her mythographic books. And then we're back to the hidden objects revealed, and that one's done. Then we have mythographic enchanted castles. This is also Fabiana Atanasio. She did quite a few. There are nine of these books, or at least nine that I know of and that I own. If there's more than that and somebody wants to let me know, that would be great because I am collecting these. And I don't believe I've colored in here, but I always say I haven't colored in something and then find out I did when I get to it. So we'll see. And in the comments, if you want to let me know if there's anything that you would like to see flip throughs of or a video of, sorry, there's like half tags in here. Let me know in the comments because I, I would like to show things that you all want to see. Um, and I'm never really sure. I know when I do uh, color alongs, they don't seem to get a lot of attention. So it seems like it's more about what books we have or what books you're interested in looking at um and if there's a color along that you'd like in a specific book let me know about it if you've watched um my coloring book collection videos you know what books i have i'm more than happy to color along in something that someone else has and wants to see a color along in because i'm never really sure what anybody wants to see Oh, we do have a page in here. And this is one where I tried to hide the images. So I'm going to pull it up. So they're in the mirror. And I didn't like wipe them out or anything. But I just ignored them. Um, and went out. here's one. I hope you can see pretty good in that. It's a Pat Paris tag. And I just colored the leaves over it. And drew the leaves into it to remove it. Um, but yes, that's a finished page. That's probably the only one. Oh, I just realized it was turning a little fast. I'm sorry. As I get towards the end, it gets harder to turn. This one would be really fun for Halloween. And then we have the hidden objects revealed, and that's the end of that one. Then we have Mythographic Dream Garden, which is also Fabiana Atanasio. And this one's Floral Fantasies. Cool. 
I've seen this page colored a couple of times and it's amazing. Uh, the few that I have seen have looked amazing. And there's quite a few in here on my list of things I want to do. But my list is very long and my time is very short. So I haven't gotten to a lot of it. That one's really nice too. But I like that there's a lot of architecture in them and animals and flowers, so it's not, you know, all the same things. I have a lot of trouble coloring flowers. Um, not trouble, I just don't enjoy coloring a ton of flowers. Uh, here's one where I left the images in again. So you can see the Lego on the giraffe and the cone. Um, there's a bolt and a duck. But yeah, you could you can pretty much get rid of them if you want to. It's just a little more difficult. That reminds me of Harry Potter with all the keys. Bang. Um, and this one is Mythographic Imagine. I do not remember the order of these books. I mean, I can look it up, but I just don't remember the order exactly of how they came into play. But I think Joseph Catenbang was first. And you can see it's a different art style completely. probably go ahead and try to get some music on top of this so that the silent moments aren't so silent um but like I said Helen wanted to see these books and I thought this might be the best way to get them all out instead of making nine different little flip through videos I like this one a lot. I think it's really cute. said there's not a lot of finished pages in any of these um, they do they're very time-consuming for me so 
so I don't often start them. Like I want to do this one and just looking down here and trying to pick it apart would be, you know, it would take some time. And that's the end of Imagine. Then we have Mythographic Odyssey. Also by Joseph Katenbang. It makes sense that in Odyssey we'd have a lot of the mythographic or mythological creatures. I love this. I just don't even know how to begin doing this. This water person. Medusa with a dragon. Okay, and then we have Mythographic Animals, also by Joseph Kattenbang. So obviously we will see much more animals in this book. I think this might have been one of the first ones, actually. And I do believe I have a page in this one as well. So I'm remembering a frog and it seems like this would be the book it would be in. Um, but I'm not sure, so we'll see. Sorry, I'm getting that shadow from leaning on the other books. Jellyfish, okay. I was having trouble seeing what all that was. And in this book, there seems to be a lot more white space, and I enjoy that as well. And there's my finished picture. And I did not hide any of the images. You can see all of them. But I enjoyed coloring that one. And that was with pencils and uh, Sharpie, I believe. Nope, not Sharpie. Oh, okay, this must be one of the ones that had the leaves blacked already because the back page is completely clean, which means there were no Sharpies. But they're very detailed and some of the images are just, just so creative. It seems like this one has a lot more hidden images in it than most, so this might have been one of the first ones.
And if you stay till the end, let me know in the comments which artist you like from the Mythographic series the most or which book you like the most. Just curious what everybody's into. And then we've got Mythographic Aquatic. And this is also Joseph Kattenbang. Here's my finished page in this. Um, this was all done with pencils and Derwent Ink Tents for the background. I'll just pull it up for you when I see it closer. And I like that they don't go to the edge of the page because I love having a border. Um, it's very hard for me. I'm sure it's hard for most of us to color in here or up against the edges of things. It's just kind of painful so it's nice to see a book that gives us a border I love this puffer fish balloon And if you'd like to see a color along in one of these, let me know. That should be at least good for a laugh because I do have so much trouble finding where I am in the page. So maybe you would enjoy watching that as well. Frog prints, I like that. And the last one we have is Wanderlust. <coughs> Pardon me. This one by, is by Alessandra Fusi or Fusi, I'm not sure. Um, this is the only one by this artist. And I know I've not colored in it, so we'll just get a flip through of what it looks like. And this is an exotic adventure, so I imagine tropical type things. I honestly don't think I've looked at it since I picked it up. So it's going to be a flip through for me as well. And you can tell this is a completely different artist. Everything is very um, thin lined. There's a lot more thin lines in this one. Delicate. And then, of course, I find the one that isn't. But it seems to be a lot more of a delicate line. And there's not much of that white space. It's going from border to border. that with the cats.
And that's the end of that one. So that's the collection of mythographic books that I own. If there's one I'm missing and you know about it, please let me know in the comments. I think I've got them all. Uh, Helen, I hope this was exactly what you wanted, and I hope everyone else could enjoy it as well. Have a good day, and I'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.